urban rivers can be a haven for wildlife, not just home to the odd trolley or beer can. Rivers in towns and cities provide a wildlife corridor for a multitude of species, but it's what lurks beneath the waterline that I'm interested in. Walking past a river such as the Lean here in central Nottingham, you might think that it's lifeless, but you'd be wrong. So I'm basically using a pole cam here. I've got a little camera on the end, unsurprisingly of a pole, and this is attached to a monitor. So I get a little sneak preview of what's happening under the water. Um, and what we're noticing is that lots of small fish going by, and these are dace, so these are small silvery, there's one just gone by, oh there we go, loads of them, fantastic, look at those guys, these are actually quite big dace, they're not very large fish, I mean about a pound's a big one, but there's absolutely stuff for them in this little river, and again people just walk by, they wouldn't even notice them, and it's fantastic to see these fish in here. Um, swimming along so this is great but obviously not everyone has underwater camera gear so if you want to be able to go and do a bit of fish twitching i'm going to show you a couple of ways you can do that so if you want to get started and doing a bit of fish twitching here's a few pointers now, apart from the obvious style and fashion accessories, um, polarizing sunglasses work really well. And what that does is that enables me to go through the glare of the water and just see the fish a lot more clearly. The other thing that I'm doing is wearing really dull colors, uh, khaki greens, blacks. It just means that I'm not in a, a bright pink tutu or something that the fish are gonna spot straight away. And I keep fairly low down and don't move too quickly. Any sudden movements, the fish will pick up on this. Their eyesight's absolutely incredible. Now the other thing that I'm looking for is features, so things like uh, bushes, bridges, um, big rocks in the water, bits of weed, something that the fish are going to use to hide or feed from, they're going to congregate. So you just need to think, the fish aren't going to be out in the middle of nowhere because a predator will grab them, so they've got to be hiding or they've got to be somewhere to find food. So once you find that, you'll find the fish. So the next time you're walking along a river or a canal in a city centre, just take five minutes to have a look around, particularly what's lurking in the water, and I think you'll be surprised what you'll find.